All our recent snow has skiers and snowboardies headed to the mountains. Some who might not have even thought to go because they can now, thanks to an invention put together by the University of Utah. Yeah, it's for those with high-level complex disabilities, and it allows them to ski downhill. All you need is some courage, and as new specialist Alex Cabrero explains, a breath of air. These are the days Dustin Godnick can't wait for. Like turned in a little bit. Where he remembers what skiing feels like. It's nice to come feel the sun. Godnick was worried he'd never be able to ski again. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. After that car crash when he was 17 years old. Broke my neck, basically uh, the fourth and, fourth and fifth vertebrae. That was in 2001. And for a kid who grew up skiing in Park City, it was devastating. Technical term is tetraplegic. Uh, another term for it is quadriplegic, but I can move my arms, so really it's tetraplegic. Since then, though, technology has caught up. There's no other ski like it. He's talking about this sled called a tetra sled or tetra ski, which was designed by University of Utah scientists and engineers. We have electric actuators on each ski, and those are controlled by either a joystick, uh, if you have enough upper extremity function, or if you don't, if you have no function in your trunk, your arms, and even your neck, we're able to use your breath to actually control the ski. That's right, your breath, using a little tube in your mouth. You can actually puff a little bit to turn right, sip a little to turn left, and you have control of everything in between. And here they come. It works so well, the adaptive ski community would like to have it included in a future Paralympics. Step by step, we are getting closer. There has never been a winter Paralympic sport quadriplegics and other complex disability athletes could compete in, but this sled could give them that opportunity. Maybe in 2026 Italy, or even 2030 Salt Lake City, if Utah gets the bid. Using just what they have above the neck left and making it happen independently. That is, I think that's my dream. One of Godnick's dreams came true. Get me out on this and, you know, I just, I love cranking it up. Oh yeah. Getting up here feels, feels fantastic. Now all he wants to do is go faster. Alex Cabrero, KSO 5 News.